Hi everyone, my name is Kristen. I'm an instructor with SAS, and today we'll be taking a look at how to do a narrow to wide transpose. So let's get started by talking first about what is narrow data versus wide data, and then we'll see how we can go between the two. So for this demo, we are going to be working with the Acura cars data. And with the narrow form, which you may know as stacked, long, or tall data, we have multiple rows per entity. So in our case, the model of the car is going to represent an entity. So you'll see we have three rows per model, one that holds the engine size, one for MPG city, and one for MPG highway. Now other information like type and MSRP have been repeated across the three rows. Now this is ideal for when we are working with SAS procedures. Oftentimes you will find that certain procedures in SAS need the narrow form of your data in order to use them. Now the wide form, also known as unstacked data, is going to have only one row per entity. So all of the information about that entity is on a single row, which in our case will be our models. We have the type MSRP and then engine size, MPG city and MPG highway all on a single row. And this is useful for displaying data. Oftentimes you will find that wide data is just a little bit nicer to look at. So let's get started with a demo of doing a narrow to wide transpose. So we've gone ahead and pulled up the narrow data just to give us a refresher of what it looks like. And you'll notice that for each entity, which are our models of Acura cars, we have three rows. One row for the engine size, one for the MPG city, and one for the MPG highway. We have five columns. The model type and MSRP value end up being repeated for the three rows for each model. Now our goal is to create this as a wide table where we have one row per model. We'd like to carry over the type. However, it doesn't need to be transposed because it does repeat with each row. And we'd like to include MPG city and MPG highway. So all of that information on a single row. However, we are going to end up removing MSRP and the engine size information. So let's get started with a basic PROC transpose step just to see what happens. So on the PROC transpose statement, the data equals option will name your input table, which in our case has been named Acura Narrow. Run the code and the output doesn't really look like what we might have expected it to. This is what's called a true transpose, where the rows become the columns and the columns become the rows. So the underscore name underscore column actually contains a list of columns that we had in the original data. But it didn't pull all the columns, it only pulled the numeric columns. By default, PROC transpose is only going to transpose numeric data. If you want to transpose character data, you can, but you have to specify that. Now you'll also see that we have all of these call columns at the top. Turns out we have 21, which matches with the 21 rows that we had in the original narrow form of the data. So again, things have been swapped. Now we're trying to create a wide form of the data for each model. So our model represents our entity. So those define the groups we are transposing by. So in the code, we are going to use a by statement to say transpose by each model. Rerun the code. And this is starting to look more like we, what we wanted. We'll see that it's not quite a wide table yet. We still have two rows per model, one with the MSRP information which ended up being repeated three times. And the second, which is what we're really interested in, to have the value. Now this contains the engine size, MPG city, and MPG highway information. But there's no way that I can really tell because as it turns out, that stat column didn't get transposed because again, it was a character column. 
only numeric columns got transposed by default. Now, if we wanted to, we could add in a var statement and tell SAS to transpose stat, MSRP, and value if we wanted to, but it's going to end up looking a little funky. We see engine size, MPG city, and MPG highway, which represents these three values here. But now our columns are a mix of character and numeric data, which is not really ideal. So how about instead we end up using these three values as the column names at the top? So there is a statement for that. It is the ID statement. The ID statement says use the values of stat as the new column names. And I can remove stat from the var statement. So now once again, I'm only transposing numeric data. So these will still be numeric columns, but it's easy to identify what I'm looking at because the column names are a little more descriptive. Now you will also see here that MSRP again was repeated across all of these columns here. And that's because it wasn't a variable that really needed to be transposed like the value variable. And I even mentioned originally, we don't actually want MSRP in our final results. So let's go back and remove it from the var statement altogether. And this will give us the wide version of the data that we were looking for originally. So we've got engine size, MPG city, and MPG highway all on a single row for each model. But if you recall, again, not only did I want to get rid of MSRP, but I also wanted to exclude the engine size. So I'm going to filter that as the data is coming in. If you take a look at the original form of the data, to filter out the rows for engine size, I can use a WHERE statement, where the STAT value is not equal to the engine size. So in our code, let's add a WHERE statement, WHERE STAT NOT EQUAL TO ENGINE SIZE. Rerun the code. And now the engine size column is gone altogether because we never read those rows in in the first place. So we've excluded all of the data we didn't want, but we didn't quite pull over everything that we did want. We also wanted to include the type information, but that was a character column, so it did not get transposed. You'll also notice that type doesn't need to be transposed because again, it was repetitive across the three rows for each model. So we can actually just carry this column over by adding it onto the by statement, by model and type. Run the code again, you'll see type is now included. It did not need to be transposed. We just carried it over. So this is pretty much what we wanted. We just need to make a few finishing touches, mostly to do with renaming and getting rid of some extra stuff. You'll notice the output table is called data followed by a number on the end. Each time we run PROC transpose, the default output table name is data and a number. I'd like to name it something a little bit more descriptive. And I can do that by adding the out equals option on PROC transpose. And I'll call this Acura wide. We run the code. Notice the output table name is Acura wide. And each time I rerun, this table will be overwritten. Now, finally, I notice the underscore name underscore column in my results that has the name of the variable that was transposed. I could rename this, but I think I'm going to get rid of it altogether just because that value of value is actually a bit repetitive. I don't think it's needed here. So to remove a column from your output, you can use the drop equals dataset option on the output table. So we are going to drop underscore name underscore. Run the code one final time. See your final results for your wide table one row per model with the type MPG city 
and MPG highway information. For more tips and tricks like this, check out the links listed below in the description. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment for me and don't forget to subscribe to the SAS users channel.